Hello, my name is Associate Professor Sumit Raniga. I'm a shoulder and elbow specialist here at the Macquarie University Hospital. I'm the head of upper limb surgery and therapy, and I also direct the Translational Shoulder Research Program, which does cutting edge basic sciences research to improve patient outcomes. It's my pleasure today to talk to you about my most favorite joint in the body, which is the shoulder. The shoulder is a fascinating joint. It affords such a remarkable range of motion and it is a very complex joint because it's a fine balance between the bones, the ligaments, the tendons and the muscles working in concert to provide you with this amazing range and function. But things can go wrong with the shoulder. Some of the things that can go wrong are degenerative conditions, wear and tear. The two most common conditions that are degenerative are one, arthritis, and the other, rotator cuff disease. So arthritis is where you lose joint space, you lose the cartilage in between the joints, and with time, you get pain and stiffness. With degenerative rotator cuff disease, your tendons tear with time. That can have an effect on the biomechanics of the shoulder. The shoulder is not centered, it doesn't function properly. Plus, it stops you or impedes you from reaching out in different directions or having enough strength to hold your arm in space. If these things are happening to you, if you're suffering from pain in your shoulder, you should go and see your GP. And if your GP feels it's appropriate, they may refer you to us. When you come and see us, we have the pleasure and the opportunity to sit down and have a talk about your problem in detail. We take a very careful history, which is meticulous and focused on certain areas. Once we get that information, we examine you and the detailed examination and history, in fact, in 90% of the times, gives us a very clear indication of what's going on. The next step then is to confirm the diagnosis, and that comes through advanced imaging. It could be a simple x-ray, it could be an MRI scan, a CT scan, and sometimes an ultrasound. And that confirms the diagnosis. Once we have that information, we take you through the process of education. Because the key is to have knowledge. If you have knowledge, then you're empowered and then you can really make the right choices for yourself. And therefore, we go through the diagnosis, the prognosis, natural history, and also the various treatment options. And the treatment options could include surgery or it may not include surgery. So there's non-operative management and operative management. And the operative management could be arthroscopic surgery, which is keyhole surgery, or open reconstruction, or even replacements. Then the next phase is to really understand what happens after the operation. What's the rehab involved? Because it doesn't matter how good my work is on day zero, this is a journey that we take together, that we have to go through together in order to give you the best function at the end, and rehabilitation is a key element of it. Here at Macquarie University Hospital, we have the MQ Health Shoulder and Elbow Clinic, which is a multidisciplinary clinic that has specialists, specialist physiotherapists, specialist pain specialists, and also nursing staff that are dedicated to shoulder and elbow care, and admin staff that really understand this process as well. And we all work together to give you the best possible outcome for the difficulties you're suffering from. It's you to the power of us.